Hello and welcome. Today we'll take a quick look at how to make click measurements using the EMI measurement application on the Keysight X-Series signal analyzers. The first thing I'll do is switch to the EMI measurement mode by going to Mode and selecting EMI Receiver. By default, this opens up in the Frequency Scan measurement. I will change this by going to Measure and selecting Disturbance Analyzer Click. This gives me access to the click measurement setup screens. The next step is to change the input coupling to get better accuracy at frequencies less than 10 MHz. To do this, I press Input Output, go to RF Input, and switch the RF coupling to DC. The next step is to set up the measurement. For this, I go to Measure Setup, Setup Table which leads me to a screen where I can set up all the parameters needed for my measurement. The first thing to do is select the frequency. This can be done from this drop-down menu or from the soft keys on the side. CISPR 14-1 defines four, four frequencies where click measurements must be made. These are available directly in this drop-down menu as well as in the soft keys, but you can also manually select any other frequency of your choice. For now, I will select 1.4 MHz. I can also select values for the limit, the attenuation, and a correction factor if need be. If the limit and attenuation are left to auto-coupled settings, then the analyzer will choose appropriate values as determined by CISPR 14-1. You are of course free to ch change them as you choose. I can also decide how long I want to run the test. The upper limit is 2 hours. For this example, I will choose one minute. Click rate is a metric that is used to define the relaxation on the limit for click measurements. The application calculates the value for you using the measured number of clicks, the factor F if specified, and the formulas given by CISPR 14 to do this. Factor F is also defined by CISPR 14-1 and its use depends on the device under test. You can also set the click rate to a specific value if you wish. For this measurement, I will leave it at the default of measured. You can also enter a click count, a specific number of clicks to end the measurement. For this example, I will choose the default of 40, which means the measurement will end at the earlier of 40 clicks or one minute. That's all that's required for setup. Let us now make the measurement. To do this, I go to sweep control and choose start. As the measurement continues, I can observe the timer counting down, the number of clicks being counted, and the click rate as determined by the combination of these two, a running analysis showing the click limit, which we had selected earlier, as well as how many clicks are exceeding the relaxed click limit. Any continuous disturbances that occur would also be counted and information about each disturbance also populates in the table below. As per our settings in the setup table, I have already reached 40 clicks, hence the measurement stops. I can now go to Start Analysis under the Sweep Control menu, which will run an analysis of our measurement. I can see the number of clicks that were counted, the click rate, some specifics on the clicks with regard to time, how many of them exceeded the limit in terms of number as well as percentage, any continuous disturbances that occur, any exception rules that were used for the clicks, and if so, which ones. And I can toggle between this view and the normal spectrum view by going to View Display and selecting Normal. In the normal view, I can press Measure Setup, go to Select Disturbance, and enter a number or use the arrow keys or the knob to scroll through the disturbances. If a particular disturbance looks interesting, I can go to Disturbance List and Disturbance Zoom to zoom in on that particular disturbance. Finally, I can go to the Save menu data, 
save the trace in CSV format. I can also save the disturbance list, which is this table, also in CSV format. And I can go to measure results and enter a header as well as save the measure setup, the disturbance list, and all of the traces together in a complete measurement report. This would be saved in HTML format. And that's all there is to it. For further questions, please feel free to call, email, or chat in at www.keysite.com slash find slash contact us. Thanks for watching.